Welcome back. Charlie Abrigo is here from the Gladys Porter Zoo with our Zoo Guest of the Week, which is uh, trying to make a, a run for it, Charlie. <laughs> it is. I have to be very <laughs> careful because this table is kind of short. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is a, a Madagascar radiated tortoise. And this is a juvenile. So believe it or not, they do get a little bit bigger. A lot bigger. Not as big as a Galapagos tortoise. Yeah. So uh, so uh, it will probably get maybe about 25 to 30 pounds or so. Okay. Um, probably about almost I mean, a little bit more than double this size they do get a little bit taller than that with their shell and um, they're you know I kind of try as much as possible to kind of flip it over it's beautiful the beautiful pattern yeah, and really that's where is. they get the radiated from is, okay. is that that um, that uh, that pattern that goes across the the top of the shell and throughout the sides and um, of course they are found in the island of Madagascar so um, these animals are are, are Interesting because, like most other animals and that are found, or you know, reptiles that are found in different um, islands, are kind of mm -hmm. confined to there. So you'll find them nowhere else in the world. So that it, so like the lemurs, the radiated tortoises, which we have at the zoo, and um, you can go check those out. And all of those are pretty much isolated in that big island of, of Madagascar. And so tell us a little bit about the tortoise's diet. I, I'm sure it's similar to the other ones. They mm -hmm. eat a lot, of, a lot of greens, lettuce. So, so we have this diet, it's called iguana diet, even though a lot of other animals can eat it. Uh, mm -hmm. Reptiles can eat it, and it's just a lot of like vegetables, and it's these little uh, pellets that they do, and they kind of mix together. So it almost kind of looks like a little, I saw the other day one of the keepers, Rebecca, she had uh, the in like a little ball, almost like a meatball. Oh. And, and she would go in, in little plates, and she would give it to some of the animals. and. And mainly it's for, uh, of course, iguanas, yeah. tortoises, skinks, and, you know, uh, other reptiles just like that. And um, they'll get that, and, of course, they get a different uh, offering of different vegetables, like whole vegetables, and, awesome. and uh, maybe some fruits every so often. Very cool. And I love that, you know, this is one of the the um, reptiles that the, the kids can see whenever they go. You know, you have mm -hmm. the smaller reptiles for them to hang out with. And you have a Kids Appreciation Day that is coming up. Yes, it's coming up on Sunday, so it's going to be a great. And so think of it as a back-to-school event. Yeah. Um, you'll be able to get some score, some great school supplies if you, um, the first thousand kids that make their passport. And um, it's a great event. Um, there'll be activities and we'll have um, uh, different stations throughout the zoo that you can learn about animals, uh, get some necessities that you need for back to school and then when you finish your passport your passport kind of guides you throughout the zoo when you finish it you turn it in and you have a chance to win some great prizes like bicycles uh, backpacks full of school supplies and different things like that so it'll be it'll be fun should be fun there's them right there five four uh, six, six seventy one eighty seven. <laughs> <Being missed. laughs> the director took it down. I'm like, yeah. I don't have to memorize. Five, six seventy one eighty seven. And of course, you could always visit us on Facebook or, or our website at gpz.org. Perfect to do right before school starts again. All right. Well, thank you so much, Charlie, for joining us. Thank you.